Hey guys, I'm gonna be today. We're gonna be playing. Well, not gonna be playing anything. We're gonna be watching a Dorman called Spoiled Teen runs away after knocking a laptop. That's that's what it's dramatic. Yeah, that's that's a pause and play it. But pro, I know, sweetie, and we will. But now is not the right time. Well, the deal was that if I got straight as a semester, you'd buy me a new laptop, and I did. Now it's your turn to live up to your promise. Jenna, we are very, very proud of the work. Uh, if I was that mom, I actually would buy, uh, would do the promise that I did, and I would get her the, la the laptop she wanted, whatever she wanted. Keep time. But, but nothing! You're breaking okay. your word again! That's not fair. We aren't saying no, we're just asking for some patience. I am so sick of you lying to me! Get out! Get out of Jenna, my room! We're not lying to you, sweetie. If you would just give us a moment to explain Ow. everything, please. If you would just let Dad. us... Weird people talk to themselves, and that's the strange. I did. That's all you gonna play? This girl's like the red panda going out of the window. It's dumb for leaving your family. What is it? She's gone! Oh my god! Where did she go? Hey, it'll, be, it'll be okay. I would be she's, more she's panicked. Back, no, 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 she's no, just no. blowing off some steam. No, no, how would you know? Because she's my daughter. I did the same thing when I was her age. She'll be back, trust me. A few hours later. I mean, like, if she, that's all you're gonna pack, you're, you're gonna be very cold. Did you even pack a blanket? Okay, if, if she's the only person in the world, I still would not help her. Learn. But she's. <laughs> you shouldn't be here. It is really dangerous for you to be out here all by yourself. Mm -hmm. Fine. Here, let me give you a hand up. Oh, There's God a, bless a safer that place woman. up this way. Follow me. Go to shopify.co.uk oh, and stupid ad. create a powerful Wait a second, guys. Wait a second. Just do that. Ad. Ad. Stupid ad. So what's your story? Why is a young girl like you out here all by herself? <coughs> it's my mom. We had a fight. Must have been a big one. Yeah. But then again, all we do lately is fight. Families fight sometimes. Maybe. But it's like... My mom always has to go out of her way to prove that she doesn't care about me. At all. She must care a little. I know she does care. Don't She's just spoiled that. No Girl, problem. Your story and they're probably ain't like, I'm, you're, like I promise you that. For a second. They're probably like, oh, she's not going to get so we have nothing to worry about. And she got A, so yeah. Like, she, yeah. she's the one spoiled. I've heard it all. She, the parents living out here on these streets. Come on, what'd she do? It's what she didn't do. She promised to buy me a new laptop if I got straight A's, which I did. So you're telling me you're out here all alone on these streets because your mother didn't buy you a computer? Yeah, she's Same pretty dumb like for that. that. sounds nuts. But it, it's more than that one thing, though. It's like, every time I want anything, even things that I earn, she tells me no. I mean, I'm basically a grown-up now. I should be able to decide things for myself. There's something you Besides should Deciding for yourself I mean that you can get what you want so you can get yourself a computer. You don't have to ask your mom and dad.
This is where you live? You're welcome to stay. I know it's not much, but you're a lot safer here than out there by yourself. Thanks. What I want to show you is up here. I I would I would be I'm not scared. Not to be that I would just I know you think you have it tough, house if, but if you're not I'm the scared. only teenager in our camp. Over there we have Dylan. Dylan ran away from home because his father was a drunk who would physically abuse him. Poor thing is still having nightmares. JD over there lost his parents in a fire about a year ago. They put him in a foster home, but his new foster family was just using him to get money every week from the state. They turned the crawl space in the attic into his room and they would lock him in there for days at a time. Eventually, how he ended up running on? away and joined us about three months ago. And then there's oh, Carly. God, please don't For her, me. running away was a matter of life or death. You see, her parents were junkies. And she would go weeks at a time without eating anything at all because her parents would spend the money chasing their next fix. She eats more now living on the streets than she did living at home, if you can believe that. What I'm saying is that these kids uh, have yeah. real problems. Like, dude, before she, she even said about all those kids' stories, I knew at the start that she was going to be spoiled. And, and those, those kids about the real problems, man, I feel bad for those guys. Problems. They ain't got no choice but to be out here on the streets. You do. My problems are real problems. It goes nice, come on, don't Prove lose your temple. What? How? Is this a nightmare? Where is she? We've called every- So, like, I'll explain this to you. Kids, if you're- If you're moving out of your house, imagine I can't- and Imagine I was your mom, and then my brother was your dad, and we- Kept saying, like, no sweets, you would move out. And uh, and uh, imagine a person tells you about other stories about real problems. Guys, kids, stay with your family and never leave unless it's a real problem. Everybody we've known. I'm sure she's okay. Honey, she just needs some time. What if she's not? What if she needs us? God, we should have just been honest with her and told her the truth. Honey, we talked about all this. <sighs> I know, but if she would have just known that you lost your job and we can't even afford to pay for the mortgage, then she would have understood about the computer. It wouldn't do Jenna any good to have to worry about all of that on top of being I'm a teenager. I'm so worried about her. Yeah. It sounds like she cares an awful know. lot about you. Uh, as far as her, I'll just go, hey, mom and dad, I'm gonna come back in. Is strolling down to to them, give them a big hug, and never never leave your family, guys. Okay? Okay, I had no idea what they were going I through. So go back home and apologize for making your mother so worried. I can't. It's too embarrassing. I feel like such a brat. They probably hate me now anyway. Yeah, so I would just feel like a brat as well. That. Like even How before she did that, I knew she was a little poor herself. Because I had a daughter. She was about your age when we got in this massive fight over a guy she wanted to date. And I did not approve. We said some nasty things to one another. She threatened to run away. So I told her to leave. But I didn't mean it. I just wanted to teach her a lesson. Okay. She went. Two nights later, she was killed by a drunk driver who plowed into the parked car where she was sleeping. Guys, if you if you want if you leave your house by your parents knowing and they'll figure out soon, and you want to die. Or, or live with your family. 
I'll choose the force option. I'm sorry. I'll choose to live your family. I never got a chance to apologize for the harsh words I said that night. And now I would give anything for one minute with my daughter. To be able to hold her one make more cry. time. Tell her I'm sorry and that I love her. And now I will never get that chance again. But you still can. After she was gone, I could not handle the grief. I checked out of everything. My job, my friends, my life. Next thing I knew, I was living on the streets. Like, if she's, if she's been living in the street for more than one year, I'm trying. I if she were, if she was my neighbor or something, I'll go. Hey, come live with me, and I'll and then I'll treat you as a mom. And my if my mom liked it, I was fine. That I would just say get in straight away. I've been here it's ever really, since. Really nice. Don't make the mistake that I did. Yeah, she Don't probably is. Away the people know. that matter the most. We have such a limited time with them while we're on this world. Take advantage of every single moment you have with them. Okay. Well, that was sad. We're not done it. We're like nine minutes in, and the thing is ten minutes. So, God bless this girl, and you can live a good life. This girl. I didn't take my key. Oh my god. Um, I'm so sorry for being a brat and for running away. I am so happy you're home. This is so great. And look, the truth is we, we just can't afford it. Oh, it's okay. I don't need the MacBook. All I need are Why is that gold so tall? Like, look at her mom. This. To this. To this. It's the same height as her, her dad and smaller than mom. Mom looks like the child here, actually. <laughs> okay. Okay, come on. Those parents are nice. That girl that helped her make her decisions are nice. Everyone should not leave the home. And this girl, with a nest in her hair, should learn that lesson. Never leave your family. Family thing. Family is everything. Wait, I want this to be a happy ending. No, happy ending, please. No happy ending. Why is there no happy ending? Anyway, that will be the end of this video.